So, uh, I do want to give you some important updates. I see Elitsu, Shalom Elitsu, Tov Lirot Otchapo, Baruch Abba. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody. Been 96 hours, you can see from my eyes, no sleep. We are able to get out about, I don't know how many orders, about, no, about 250 orders. We are able to pull out together and we are sending the rest of the orders tomorrow. If you have not had a chance yet, I am asking you to read the new book and understand what is coming next, the new Hamas, the great organized chaos, and the coming of the Mashiach. It's available both on Avata Me website, in a bundle, in a book, and it's also available right now on Kindle. And I want you to read it. I want you, after you read it, to see God and ask the question, is this already the infection of the Hamas? Is it already affected me? If you say no, it means that you infected severely because I know myself and everybody around, we have been infected by this. And we have to cleanse ourselves now and to prepare to what is coming. I don't know if you've seen a little bit the tip of the iceberg in Russia, a uh, uh, Israeli airplane landed and they tried to find Israelis to kill, to murder. You, you understand? This is the spirit of the time. Israel also issued an update on the hostage, on the hostage situation. Initially, they're saying 229. Now we are seeing 239. This is the new number. 10 more. And I am watching as, as you should be watching what's happening right now. I'm going to give you a couple of new prayer points here in a minute because I'm watching stuff inside Israel. And I want you to think about those things. Now, before I tell you that, I do want to tell you that the Spanish book is finished. The Spanish book is complete. But the Holy Spirit woke me up. I slept like one, one hour and say you have to add a few things to the book. So the Spanish book is going to have additional 5,000 words into it. Price going to be slightly, slightly higher because of that. Because I've added 5,000 words that is making their way right now into Spanish. On top of the book, I have to communicate what Hashem, the spirit of revelation that is pouring out right now, is so severe, is so serious, is so significant that I have to communicate this to you while there is time. Because I don't know how long I will be able to do what I do. I got a warning out of Facebook to tell me uh, somebody wrote on our page, uh, somebody peeing on the flag of Israel, and I wrote him, you anti-Semitic dog. Facebook sent me a warning. And they said, well, uh, you violated our you violated our community rules. So I sent them a, a, a screenshot and I told them, what do you mean? This guy, look at what he write against Jews. No response for Facebook. And I just cannot understand Zuckerberg and his cronies in Facebook. I mean, how how evil, how evil can you be in that and not, not stopping this? Um a lot of anti-Semitic attacks on our Vatami, on the Rabbi Pashapira pages, on our Instagram pages. It's It's been unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to also to be launching a um, Telegram page specifically for those who want to follow me. It's coming today. Uh, I need to have it. I am on Instagram. Follow this there. 
uh, I'm asking you um, to help right now because Amazon refusing to list the book, refusing to list the book inside uh, the categories we're giving them. So you really have to search for it hard if you want it on Kindle. But the best thing is to get it on hand, on hand, as the revelation just continue to be pouring out in a powerful, powerful uh, way. Yes, it's happening in Russia. And I hate, believe me when I say, I don't want to be the one, Jamie, say I told you so. But go back to 2020 when I lost my voice and I wrote a manuscript of 550 pages called the Besorah according to COVID-19. Everything that I wrote is happening before our eyes right now. And yeah, I hear Gianni, they rejected your review. They rejected Pastor Matt review. We are being targeted. You should know that. Now, I do want you to pray. These next two weeks, we have some major things that are happening. I'm not announcing anything in public for the safety for the safety of myself and the team. But I want you to be in vigilant, vigilant prayer for us because we are going at this full force with zero, zero fear, zero fear, absolutely zero fear. I added what I added, 5,000 words. We're doing some things underground here that better for you not to know right now. But we do need the prayers because what is going to happen over the next few days, every second that goes on in Israel on the soil of Gaza and they continue this necessary operation, the anti-Semitic attacks are going to be increasing rapidly all throughout the world. And I'm waiting for this to start in America. It is. Anybody that doesn't believe that it's just being foolish. It's, it's coming to America because it's already in America. And the spirit of Hamas is operating all over the world. So I urge everybody, take those days you have right now. Take those days and make all the necessary repairs in your life all the necessary repairs I don't know if we have a week or a month or a year or 10 years can't tell you this but I can tell you the signs that I'm seeing make sure you reconcile with people you need to reconcile make sure that you repent to the people you need to repent make sure you make a teshuva for any sins Make yourself ready because the Lord can reap down at any moment. It can happen today. We don't know that for sure. That's why I dropped everything. And you should know that next Shabbat, I am going to be back in Las Vegas for this Faradim event, worldwide event of launching the new Hamas, the great organized chaos and coming of Mashiach. Anybody in West Coast United States, you should come and be part of this. We need to teach prophecy now. That's what we have to do to prepare the flock properly. So I've done a lot of this this weekend. Uh, nearly killed me to do all those teaching. I was just wiped. Next weekend, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to open the yeshiva for those who are there physically to the public for free. So if you're coming this week, we were in 100% capacity. We'll make a room for you. Come, understand. If you have not read my new book, please read it now. It's not an expensive book. Get it in your hand. Read it understand it one of the things we really have to be praying for right now and i'm going to tell you this straight up i was uh in their plane today 
and I went to Hashem and I asked God, show me how Israel can win it. You understand there is, let's look at that for a moment on the physicality. Understand it on the physicality. Israel have a special bombs that penetrate the bunkers under God, the tunnels. But it's kill everybody underground. If Israel is truly going to be using those bombs, what's going to happen is they are going to kill their own people, the hostages. When the decision right now that we have to make is a difficult decision. I want to explain something to you though. If we do not go into the tunnels and destroy Hamas, it pains me because I we all are praying for the hostages. But if we don't do that, Holocaust is going to come upon the Jewish people. You have to understand it. Holocaust will come. This is the case. This is the truth. That's why we are right. Right at this moment, we are inside Gaza and there is no other alternative. And you must stand for this and understand that the amount of shooting at Israeli civilian is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Every city in Israel in the center has been the, the, the red of the Hamas right now. But here is what I want to tell you now on a spiritual level so you understand. We are dealing at this moment with the forces that are not the forces of human. You understand the work here of Hamas and the way I explained it yesterday in the Shiure Torah. Hamas is like a delivery boy when you order a pizza. You get the pizza man to come and give you the pizza, but he's not the one who make the pizza. It's the delivery, delivery boy. It's a pawn in something much more significant. And the one who is behind Hamas, as I explained to you in the book, he's a Satan himself. He's a Satan himself. Israel is fighting Satan right now. Just as Yaakov Avinu has fought, right? They think about what I'm telling you. Yaakov Avinu had to fight the Malach of Isav in order that the next verse says he went and he met the physical Isav. He could not face Isav physically unless his name was changed from Yaakov to Israel. Okay, he had to have a fundamental change inside of him in order to deal with the reality and the physicality. Now, here is the problem that we are still dealing with right now, which leading me to this, this, why I'm telling you, read, please help me. Please help me get this book out, guys. We need every believer on the face of the earth reading this book. Go and order it now for the love of God because it's a fight that you're going to have to fight too. Every one of us is going to have to fight. I am calling upon you SOS with conviction. Some people say to me, why are you writing books right now? To pro Do you think I care about the money? Do you think I care about making profit? Prof, I don't want to write this kind of books. Believe me, brothers and sisters, I have not slept in three weeks doing this. I'm doing this as an SOS message for all of us. Here, right at this moment, it's an SOS. Here is the rule that you have to understand. In order for Israel to be victorious, I mean really victorious, about not the delivery boy, but against that one who sent them, Israel have to have a change of heart. Just yesterday, 239 families meet with American representative. I want you to hear this with, with me because you don't see this in the mainstream news. I see it in Israel. And they say there was a 
press conference. And in the press conference, they said, the only thing, thank you for sharing, by the way, it's so important. They said, the only thing that can save us, this is what the family is saying, is America. You hear what I'm telling you? The Israeli Jews who just suffer something. The, the only thing that can save us is America. Not God, not Mashiach, America. Backtrack five weeks ago. Israel is divided. Israel is cut. Israel is separate. Benjamin Netanyahu come to the UN resolution and he give the speech. And all the people standing outside, Jews, Jews. And we say, America save Israel. I want you to understand something. If Yaakov rely on external force to defeat Esav, he cannot be victorious. He says, your name is Israel, because you overcame this. Israel has to have a change of heart. And this is our number one prayer today. Listen to what he says in Midrash Rabbah. I'm going to give you a little bit a candy from the course I put together. Now, if you want the course, please contact me. Get the DVDs. Get this course. My gosh. There's so many things I didn't write in the book. It was too much. Revelation is too much. Overwhelming. Maybe somebody can put, Rose, can you put the link for Avatami so people can order it? Thank you, Rose, for doing it for me. Listen to this. This is important. It says that the final war that Israel will have, it's against Edom. It's the final war, right? We read that. And if you want to understand what's going to happen, you really need to zoom in on this final war between Esau and Yaakov. You see, it's already started. We are just fighting continuously the same war. It's like round one, round two, round three, round four. And so, 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 and so, and so on. Listen to this. It says, and I quote in Midrash Rabbah, that the sons of Esau will not fall unless, unless Israel is anointing with themselves with Mashiach, son of Joseph. I want you to hear it again, straight from the words of our sages. Israel cannot win the war without Mashiach ben Yosef. Today we need to pray that Mashiach, Mashiach ben Yosef, will anoint the soldier of Israel to fight with them. Without Mashiach ben Yosef, we cannot defeat the forces of darkness. Right now, I believe that our number one prayer should be for Israel to seek a revelation, to receive a revelation of Mashiach ben Yosef. No Jesus, no Shmijas, Yeshua. Yeshua. Not the one of Rome, Yeshua. The only one can come right now and redeem us. Kuma be'ezrat Israel, like we read in our Tfilot. Tzur Israel. He is the only solution here. Only solution here, Nick. Go order the book right now. Read it. Rose, thank you. Nicole, yes. Yes. Of course, <laughs> Ishmael is a branch of Edom. But I want you to hear it again. It's straight from the word of Hazal.
that Esau in the final war will not fall, will not break, unless Israel is fighting through Mashiach and with Mashiach ben Yosef. So what does it mean for us today? We need to be the force, us, the Gentile, the Goim, to be the force that join Israel to bring the merit of Ben Yosef to Israel. So that physical Israel, Yaakov, will also receive the merit and also will receive Ben Yosef. This is what we need to, to do today. I see so many Spanish speakers joining in. Guys, what are you waiting for? Go order as many books as you can today. Go and do it today. Get this book. It's now available in Spanish. Baruch Hashem. We are going to have the Sfaradim together. All of us have the opportunity to do something tangible today. To become part of the army of Mashiach ben Yosef that is joined the physical army of Yaakov. What an opportunity it is. What an opportunity it is. He come as a man of war. Exactly. Book of Devarim. But the question become, are we, specifically non-Jews, they ask what they can do. You can right now pray for the merit of Ben Yosef to come upon Israel. And how you do it? By joining Israel. Not being silent, standing up, praying, supporting, giving, ordering books, doing those things. Friend, we are losing this war right now. And I need you to help. We reach to 100 pastors. How can it be that out of 100 pastors, not single one pastor is willing to allow us to speak on Sunday morning from the pulpit? about what's happening right now. All claim to be friends of Israel. How can it be? Brothers and sisters, when Abraham Avinu took the 318 men, they didn't say to Abraham, we are big fans of you, Abraham. We are going to pray for you. You go after Lot. No, they went to the battle. They went to the battle with Abraham Avinu. He split them. One went in, one went in. We need you to join the battle right now. We need to join this spiritual battle right now because this battle is going to be won by a force that's going to come and tilt it. So I received the revelation over the weekend that the tilting force that is going to tilt it is Ben Yosef representing you. It's representing you. You are the tilting force right now in this war. Yes, you are in this war. You can partake in this war. And the force that's going to take Israel is over the edge is though to have Ben Yosef, to pray through Ben Yosef, to reveal himself to Israel. So today I am challenging us I'm watching Benjamin Netanyahu. God help us. God help us. What happened? What's happened? The man is like a shell shock. He's in trauma. He's not functioning. Beloved, you should know that. Pray for him. Pray for him. He go against the guy from the central intelligence. This guy go against this guy. We are infected. As Jews, and the spirit of Hamas among us, even right now, right now, even we are infected by this. I have a challenge, a man, especially Sfaradim among you. We have killed ourselves to print this book for you. Make sure that you get it in your hand. And when you finish, you have to ask yourself the fundamental question. Am I going to be enlisting in the spiritual IDF right now? Am I going to be part of it? 
And if you say yes, what it is entailing, entailing that you are willing to give your life. And that's my question. It's not a complicated question to you today, but it's a hard question. Are you willing to give your life at this moment? What are you willing to give up? Soldier cannot get into a war unless he's willing to give something up. And the question is, what are you willing to give up? Don't call yourself messianic. Don't say I am Ben Anusim or all this Stuyot. If you are not willing to die for the sake of a Jew, for the sake of Zion, for the sake of Emet, the truth, Gimatria Mashiach ben David. If you're not willing to have the Messirut Nefesh and die for Mashiach ben David, then you're not qualified to be in this war. Because guess what? Yeshua is not a Palestinian. I got this sickening caricature, caricature of Jesus coming down from heaven with a parachute of a Palestinian flag and all the Jews are running away from Christians. Are you crazy? Is there any question? Why is Yeshua? Who is Yeshua? If you're in the side of Yeshua, Jamie, you must be on the side of the Jewish people people because Yeshua is a Jew and the cardinal sin that the church is committing right now they say well we pick the side of Jesus and Jesus loved them all really Jesus stood Yeshua stood as a son of Israel and he was willing to die for his own people first and foremost, my question to you now, I am speaking to you, Rabbi Shapira. You know who I am? I'm speaking to you as Jesus right now. You know why? Because Yeshua is my flesh and blood brother. He is. So when you listen to a Jew speak, any Jew, you're listening to Yeshua speak right now. And I'm telling you something. We as Jews are in great distress because we are bankrupt spiritually. Read my book and you understand how all of it is possible. Please read it. It's available now in Spanish. No excuses. We are bankrupt spiritually and morally. And we need spiritual ammunition. Spiritual ammunition to win this thing. And the only ammunition that we can get to, to truly win it is Mashiach ben Yosef. Please don't give us Jesus. Jesus is not going to win anything for us. We need Yeshua ben Yosef, the authentic Jewish Messiah. And that's what we we need and we need you to believe that you are part of this and you can help us win this war so today my my challenge to you is very simple help us win this war help us don't be silent stop being politically correct read my book and ask yourself have i been infected if you are here's what you do you need to find back why are you infected and cleanse yourself and enlist it in the Israeli spiritual forces while there is time. We need Mashiach ban yourself today. That's why I stayed up all night to write 5,000 more words in Spanish. I hope that you hear my distress. Somebody asked yesterday, 
the question. But wait a second, we already have Jesus. It's not about you. It's about Israel being saved. Why do you think that Hasatan is so angry? Because if Israel succeeds, it's when the redemption coming to the world. If Israel overcome this spiritually, Mashiach is coming to the world. You need to understand this. But it's catch 22. Israel cannot fight it and cannot win it without Mashiach. It doesn't matter how many bombs we bomb Gaza. Because this enemy is not a physical enemy. He's a spiritual enemy. And in the book I laid it out for you. Everything. The kidnapping. The tunnels. The chopping of the head. Everything, everything is being right in front of us all along. Study the enemy. Study his method. Make sure that he does not get you kidnapped. Too many people right now are kidnapped and they don't even know that they have been kidnapped. That's the worst of all. Because they have a false sense of freedom. Let's remember the words of Psalm Tehillim. And I like to read it here. Tell me if you remember those words. He says, Ose shamayim va'aretz et ayam asher kol bam yishamer emet le'olam Ose mishpat la'ashukim נותן לחם לרעבים, אדוני מתיר אסורים, אדוני פוקח עיוורים, אדוני זוקף כפופים, אדוני אוהב צדיקים, אדוני שומר על גרים. It says the Lord is loosing the prisoners. The Lord will set the captives free. Psalm 146, which is part of the words of the Amidah. Today is the day that we're calling upon you, the real remnant from the nations, the real remnant, to help us, to say to all who are held captive, spiritually and physically, Adonai Matir Asurim. You have the duty, responsibility, and this is your calling. So don't treat this war like it is Israel war. It is your war. As much as the war that is taking place right now in Gaza. And that's what I want you to understand. Don't fall to the apathy of what's happening in the world. Bezat Hashem, with your help, with your spiritual support, the real ma'aminim of Mashiach ben Yosef. This prophecy hit me today so hard when he says in Bereshit Rabbah, son of Esav will not fall unless we defeat him to ben Yosef. Israel need Yosef right now. Mashiach ben Yosef to come. And fight with us and fight for us. And in that, Achim v'achayot, victory is assured. So today, fulfill your part. Fulfill your calling. Pray for the revelation of Mashiach upon Israel today. And may our soldier, we have visions of Mashiach ben Yosef. And may the hostages have a vision of Mashiach ben Yosef. And may Mashiach ben Yosef be there with them. He's there with them. Listen. Where do Christian think that Mashiach is right now? Where is he? Listen. Yeshayahu 63. It says, בכל צרתם לא צר ומלאך פניו הושיעם באהבתו ובחמלתו 
וגאלם ויינטלם ויינשאם in all their troubles he was troubled and in all his affliction he has been afflicted where is he now Yeshua is trapped in Gaza he trapped in Gaza underground with the hostages because it says when they are suffering he suffer with them And the church think he's doing hallelujah. I came into church service. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's a shtuyot. Ma hallelujah. He's suffering. Mashiach is suffering with his own people. Wake up, Christians. Support, stand. And believe Ben Yosef is the only solution. Today, Israel need the captive set free. And you know who is the ultimate captive? The Galut Edom is called the Galut of Roma, of Rome. You know who is the ultimate captive? It's Mashiach himself. If we set free the, the hostages, we set free Mashiach himself. He is speaking, as it says in Shir Hashirim, Behind the prison, behind the letters, ready, ready, ready. And today the army, like in the parasha this week, 318 men need to go and set them free. The Gentiles, do it. Set them free. Come back to the roots of your faiths. Declare the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They stand with the Jewish people. Leave behind Avodah Zarah. Leave behind paganism. Leave behind Rome. Leave behind the dome. Stand. Stand. Believe. Identify with the Jewish people. Say, my Jewish people. Our Jewish people, identify yourself with Israel today and stand up for those who do nothing. When the golden calf was established, 600,000 stood up. But 3,000, only 3,000 built the golden calf. How come the other 597,000 were punished. Why? Chazal explained. It was the sin of indifference. The sin of indifference of the other 597 who did not stop the Hamas, who caused them to do that. Even though they didn't do it, they stood from behind. Do that. Learn from that. Maasei Avot Siman Labanim. Learn from that. You will not stop until the captive set free. Adonai Matir Asurim. You will not stop. We will not stop until Israel will be saved. You know, in the end of the Torah portion, this last Shabbat, it says that Avraham Avinu restore all the possession to Lot. You know what this is? This is all the remnant returning. Returning back home. Purified. We will be cleansed and we will be purified. Those, this, and the people of Israel will be one. Yes, Nicole. Read. I know the book is on the way. You will understand it more. I hope everybody ordered the DVD, my course. It's on top of the book. It's not me teaching you the book. It's after the book. Continue. Eschatology. Understand it. Yeshua is not a Palestinian, beloved. He's a son of Israel. I know which side he is in. And I know exactly where he's at right now. He's in Gaza. Suffering the fumes of a Satan. Let us set him free. And set all of Israel free. Please go today. 
If you're international, you can get Kindle version. If you're somewhere else, thank you for putting it one more time, the link. Get the book. And then ask yourself the simple question. Am I qualified to set the captive free today? This is what I want you to do. And if you say yes, then come on in. Join the spiritual army. But if you say no, prepare yourself. Prepare to the tikkunim. Because we are in all hands on deck. Baruch Hashem, that many are joining. Exactly. Isaiah, Isaiah 61. Proclaim freedom for the captive. But right now he is captive because he's separate from Israel. You have to understand Mashiach is captive because he separates. The Shekinah, Israel, and Mashiach have to be unified. In Sukkot, we bind four species Yud Hey Vav A. In Pesach, we drink four cups, Yud Hey Vav A. Hashem, in Shekinah, Mashiach, and Klal Israel have to be unified as they seek in love for one another. Please, let's work on this. Everybody can be part of the spiritual army. Everybody can be. But we got to first deal with our own Hamas. Yes, Sabrina, we are sending books, big order, right tomorrow morning to Holland and to Belgium. If you hit me, in a private Sabrina, we can greatly reduce the cost and help you to get it if you if you place this order right now. So Sabrina, just send me a private message. I will help you. It's a perfect timing. We're sending a big order to Holland tomorrow morning. So if you, you have literally an hour, two hours, an hour to reach out to me and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Thank you. For Barbara, yes, he's suffering for Israel because he's part of Israel. But if he's suffering and we know him and we love him, shouldn't we suffer? How can the church stand like this right now and do not understand that we cannot separate Yeshua, the Son of God, from Israel, the Son of God? Amy it will happen Be'ezrat Hashem because of the tefillot of those who believe in Ben Yosef. Be'emunah shlema kol mi shemamin be'ben Yosef ayom. Yeshua Ben Yosef sh'yachazor le'amen u'betor Mashiach Ben David. Kol ha'tfila, gam shel ha'goyim, gam shel ha'yehudim, shemaminim b'ze be'emunah shlema, mechazek et ha'tiyom, mechazek et oto l'frot ha'chutza gam ken. V'zot ha'tfilot ha'chi chashuvot ha'yom. התפילות של אלה שמאמינים בישוע בן יוסף. בואו נתפלל יחדיו. הבינו שבשמיים, We are thankful. We are thankful that you raise up a remnant spiritual army today that is so powerful. It is so powerful. And it will defeat the forces of evil. Hamas will not enter. So help us remove the Hamas that infect us all. Not by might, no by chel, no by koach, ela beruchi amar Adonai tzavahot. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord of armies. And may all of us enlist and be victorious. Naale venitzlach. We will ascend and we'll be successful. Step one, deal with Hamas in your own life. Please get the book. I'll be updating you more as Hashem allow me. Those who are in the United States, please come to Vegas next weekend for the Sephardic release of the book, the even expanded version. I can't wait to get it in your hands. Order today. Thank you, everybody. 
for the holy remnant. I hope everybody now go and read Rivka remnant in light, in, in light of what I'm saying. Amen, amen, Amy. Let's pray again for Amy. She's from Haifa right now. We always love to pray for the inhabitants. Blessed are the, those who dwell in Zion. Avinu Shabbat Keep Amy and her family safe. And I believe you have a gallery, Amy. Just pray for everything. Everything there in Haifa. No rocket, no missile will touch you or your family. And may all of Israel will become invisible for the plot of a Satan. Yimach Shmo Vezicho. And you will be the remnant of Zion who will stand there. We stand for you. And Amy, we believe in for your protection and the salvation of everybody, everybody around you. In the merit of our Mashiach. Amen ve Amen. Thank you everybody for uh, uh, reaching out and being part of this and help me now with the books, okay guys? We're running out of time. And Shavua Tov, quiet week for all of us. Jewish people need to come home. <laughs> yeah. The hunters are hunting. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt, Amy. Without a doubt. Blessings to all of you. And keep us in prayer as well. Thank you.